Hey, this is PXX RPG Queen, otherwise known as Hikari Silver, bringing you guys another amazing Let's Play. In the last episode, we explored Velweb, Shirley is alive, there was merchants, and confusion as we try to find one damn piece of stardust, which we have now found. So we're going to go ahead and continue on our way. After you meet Diaz, please visit this place again and lead their souls to heaven. most disturbing place ever. I really, really, really don't like Vili Web right now. Later on, for, you know, plot purposes, yeah. Right now, no. Not my favorite place ever, at all. And this is the last video for Disc 3, by the way. So, very exciting. Make sure you have bought all your healing items and Angel's Prayer, because trust me, you are going to need it in Disc 4. You really are. Great. I can't even hit. That won't kill it. Kill Miranda either. Ha! Ha! He! 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 Okay. There should be nothing here. Nope, nothing there. So, to get to Diaz, we take the third exit, but we're not gonna do that right away, because there's two items we need to get. ones for Rose. Namely, her headband. Which we're gonna put on her. She can't die now. She can avoid instant death. So there's no need to put talisman on her. Anymore. So, back to where we were going. I'm gonna use smoke ball this time. The hell with this shit. I'm definitely going to use smoke ball. Like, it's going to be a thing. Bye-bye. And that's spending forever trying to be everything that wants to basically kick our face in sometimes. And where we're going, Hasho will definitely have a chance to finish his long, cumbersome edition. Three and four. Wonder what's in the last box. <sighs> All right, this is your last chance, everybody. Go back to save or go back to level grind. But this is the last of the last. This is it. Once you go down there, there is no coming back. Plot heavy, guys. Very, very plot heavy. Shauna! You won't get much commentary from me for this part. Very little. Mm hmm? Diaz, here are all three Divine Moon objects. There are no more obstacles to hinder our utopia. Release the girl. Fine. 
Diaz. What are you going to do with the Divine Moon objects? Didn't you hear it from Lloyd? My only desire is the advent of the last species. If you are the true Diaz, you should know what that implies. Total destruction. What do you... Lloyd, well done bringing me the Moon Gem, Moon Dagger, and Moon Mirror. Now we can let the Viraj Embryo, the God of Destruction, the last species we desire, the true Viraj, arise. I will create the utopia you wanted after the Viraj Embryo purges the world. Everything so far was an overture to that. Lloyd, he showed you a false utopia from the beginning. You deceived me. My utopia exists in the future of this world. What I desire is the creation of the future, not the destruction of this world. I don't need you anymore. Oh shit. The fuck's going on? Oh, arc. Okay, he's probably dead. Diaz, what are you thinking? I don't need to hide anymore. That is literally the worst thing that could ever happen to Dart. Literally. Is that really you, Dad? You died with Malibu Fram on each other's swords. Rose, what are you talking about? Now I can tell you everything. The beginning of the world was an absolute nothingness, darkness. The creator Soa sowed a seed to the earth. This is the plan of Soa that created all species, the birth of the divine tree. Eventually, the fruit of the divine tree ripened and fell to the ground to fill the world with life. A check out from the 97th fruit. Mementos from the 99th fruit. Dragons from the 105th fruit. Humans from the 106th fruit. Winglies with magic power from the 107th fruit. And at the end, the Viraj embryo, the god of destruction, was to be born from the 108th fruit. Soa desired the destruction and regeneration of the world by the Viraj embryo, the god of destruction. However, 11,000 years ago, Wingleys found out the tragedy waiting for them and sealed that 108th fruit by separating the flesh and soul. The flesh of the god, the flesh of the Viraj Embryo, was taken away from the Wingleys as the moon that never sets glows in the sky. And the soul of the god was captured in the crystal sphere, and Melibu Frahama kept it. Yes, to withdraw unlimited magic power from that, and to conquer the other creatures. However, even with unlimited magic power, the denom denomination was never internal. Humans arose with dragoons in front. Nothing was their match because they'd obtained the power of the dragon, and finally they drove Malibu Frahama into a corner. I felt certain of a human, my victory, and it was the next moment the spell of petrification cast by Malibu captured me. I have waited for 11,000 years. Time, almost eternal, dissolved the spell of Melibu, and I was released from captivity. Days spent with Rose became the eternal past. 
and I lived as the father of Dart in this age, until the tragic day in Neat. Holy shit. I cannot believe it. I am here, that is a fact. Then both Dad and Rose are the heroes of the Dragon Campaign? Yes, but that's not all. Humans made a mistake. Silly humans destroyed the Crystal Spear, which was the container of the soul, along with the royal capital Kadesa. The Viraj Embryo, the god of destruction, was exulant. It could now be born. The free soul released from the Crystal Spear started to wander, in order to go back to the body left in the moon that never sets, to be born as the last god, and to destroy the world. The soul, without a body, possesses a human body, and heads for the moon that never sets, by repeating the transmigration every 108 years. You now know, the soul of the god of destruction is the moon child, the truth of the moon child in the legend. Count 108 years, and when the moon that never sets glares in red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The holy blessing is the destruction, the destruction is so as will. This is the fate that rules the future of the world. But there was one dragoon who found out about it. In order to deter the birth of the god of destruction, she has had to kill the moon children by stopping her own time. She was even called a demon. That is the true self of Rose, the black monster. Rose is the black monster? Tell me it's not true. The moon children has to be killed, and the people around it too, before they become the servants of the god of destruction. Neat? Two? For 11,000 years, there have been no exceptions. God! Why you? Why do you have to be the black monster? That's it. What are you going to do? Let me tell you one more truth. Rose, you thought the Princess Luvia you killed 18 years ago was the moon child, but it is not true. Luvia had a twin sister. No. Shada is the moon child. Shada is the soul of the Viraj embryo, the god of destruction. I'll dissolve the signet of the moon that never sets and cross it with the moon child. Now I have everything in my hands. Release Shada. And are you going to kill her? To save the world? I'll kill her. This is the limitation of humans. Sieg, why? All is the will of the creator Soa. My hands start the world, and my hands end the world. What the fuck? Yes, fate desires it. Dad, wait! Shana! Alright, guys, that was pretty intense so i'm gonna end my let's play here like comment and subscribe to my channel like my facebook page follow me on twitter and check out my blog and tune in next time for when we begin chapter four which is moon and fate